What's up, guys? Uh, my name is uh, Tai Zen, and this is my fourth child, uh, Tezos. Say hello, buddy. Okay? Say hello. What's up, guys? Tezos to the moon. Anyways, guys, uh, welcome to the um, cryptocurrency dot market channel. This is a uh, trading, investing, and entrepreneurship channel where we share with you guys the uh, real world techniques, strategies, and uh, methods that we use to uh, grow a seven, eight, and nine figure portfolio in a crypto portfolio and in our business, okay? So in this video, I wanna talk to you guys about what I call the Taifu Bitcoin certainty principle. And uh, Taifu comes from me, my name Tai, and my business partner, LeonFu.com. So we came up with this idea about the Bitcoin certainty principle. Now, before I share it with you guys, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you guys know that uh, around 2017, I sold all my Bitcoin cores for uh, Bitcoin Cash. And then later on, you know, when Bitcoin SV came out, you know, I got more of that too, okay? And then recently, a few weeks ago, I sold it all. In, um, in, uh, if you haven't seen the video where I made about why I sold my Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, you need to go check it out uh, before you watch this video, okay? So, or watch it in addition to this video so you understand what I'm talking about. So, um, back then, I had this belief uh, that Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV can do a 10x before Bitcoin Core will, okay? And recently, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before, they, uh, Bitcoin Cash finally uh, forked into uh, Bitcoin Cash ABC and Bitcoin Cash uh, N or B, uh, Bitcoin Cash N, okay? So they just, uh, uh, um, they're not winning the electronic peer-to-peer -peer cash use case and because the stable coins like Tether and, and all the stable coins are winning that use case right now. So that's why we had to get rid of it. And there's a few other things. If you guys go watch my uh, previous video about why I got rid of, uh, I gave up on uh, Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, right? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up, guys, is because unlike the hypocrites in uh, the crypto world, the, 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 the fake ass Bitcoin maximalists, right? Uh, I'm not talking about the real ones, I'm talking about the ones that pretend to be Bitcoin maximalists. We don't pretend to be Bitcoin maximalists on our channel. We uh, invest in or trade whatever it is that has a potential to make money, okay? So recently, right, uh, the reason why I did not get any Bitcoin cores back then is because I did not see it winning the peer-to-peer uh, -peer electronic cash use case that it was designed for because there was a group of people in the Bitcoin core community that wants it to become a store of value, okay? And when I got into Bitcoin Core, uh, initially, when I first bought it and we started our first trading and investing channel on the internet, you know, that I know of, to uh, teach people and share with people how we trade and invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, right? We always looked at Bitcoin Core as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. We never looked at it as a store of value uh, like the store of value guys wanted, okay? so. That's the reason why I did not care to hold any uh, Bitcoin cores back then, okay? So let's just pause that idea for a minute and let's just talk about uh, one of the money-making principles that Leon Fu and I teach in our cryptocurrency investing blueprint. If you wanna get a copy of it, you can get a copy at um, www.cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint, okay? So in the cryptocurrency investing blueprint, one of the money mindsets that we teach uh, our students is, you know, when you're getting into crypto or any money making opportunity or any investing or trading strategy, we recommend that you play to win or don't play at all. Okay. The reason why we, we recommend play to win and don't play at all is, you know, be serious about, you know, if you're going to get into crypto, be serious about it, learn what you can about it and really be serious about it. Don't do it half ass. Okay. The reason why is because in the game of money and in the game of making money, right? The people that play to win and that are serious about it, you know, we have a, a, a saying uh, that we teach in the, uh, the, the, the Typhoon money mindsets is that winner take all, okay? If you look at the search engine industry, Google won that race, 
in the one that industry so they own the majority of search engine results and that business in the search engine if you look at online retail Amazon you know wins that use case if you look at social media Facebook is the big winner so that's the reason why we encourage all our students all our viewers all our followers to play to win or don't play at all because winners take all okay you get all the the, 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 the benefits of being a winner it, it sucks being a loser okay so because of that uh, we, we we have a thought okay so let's jump back into the Bitcoin store of value use case okay so our our Taifu Bitcoin certainty principle okay revolves around the fact that if you look at all the different use cases for crypto from clearing and settlement from decentralized finance uh, also known as DeFi uh, from uh, um, uh, a, a, the use case of a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash uh, um, and from the use case of a uh, uh, the non-fungible tokens also known as NFTs right we got all these different use cases including the store of value right a digital gold or the store of value use case if you look at it all these use cases there is not a clear-cut winner in who is going to win be the winner that takes all in that use case however in the arena or in the niche of store of value it is undisputed it is undisputed that Bitcoin core has won that use case okay it's, un it's undisputed like, we don't see any reason or anybody or anything else that will even come remotely close to it now the Bitcoin maximalist right the Bitcoin core maximalist when they hear me say that they're gonna be tickled they're gonna say oh I told you so Ty I told you so I told you so to get into Bitcoin I told you not to touch that Bitcoin cash I told you not to touch that Bitcoin SV you gotta keep in mind guys we are traders okay we are not philosophers we are not you know uh, 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 anarchists we're not libertarians we are here to make life-changing profits life-changing profits means that you got to get into a coin that makes a shitload of money okay and in case English is not your, your your primary language right a shitload of money means it's a lot of money okay a ton of money uh, an abundance of money a, a cornucopia of money okay so when it comes to being a trader an investor like our team is right we focus on the coins that have the potential to make big profits and in the past when I got into Bitcoin cash and Bitcoin SV and stuff I truly believe that they had a chance to 10x better than Bitcoin core okay but it has proven uh, not to be true I made some profit on it it's not a big profit but you know it's not, not it's nothing to brag about okay so it's not a losing trade but it's not a big winner either okay so that's why we had to get rid of it so now when you look at Bitcoin core as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic uh, cash they have not won that matter of fact they are the farthest thing from that like if you ask us you know from when we first used Bitcoin as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic payment system you know to pay for our coffee and pay for our tacos and burritos and stuff like that right the, the, the we, we have used that and we enjoy it that's why we put our life savings into it uh, when we first got into it or nearly all of our life savings anyway at least I did um, the reason why I, I uh, we did that was because we saw that this was a uh, that Bitcoin core at that time was going to win the use case as a uh, as an electronic peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash but we have found out now that it's not going to do that okay it's not it's not going to win that use case however however it has won the use case in the store of value arena the digital gold so all these crazy ass you know uh, Bitcoin core maximalists that keep you know crying about you know that they want Bitcoin to be uh, the uh, digital gold the store of value well congratulations okay congratulations because you guys have won that use case you have won the use case for Bitcoin core being the store of value now me and the other guys I know we wanted Bitcoin core to be to win the uh, electronic peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash use case but you know uh, we lost out on that and we uh, and, and the Bitcoin core maximalists they won out on the uh, um, uh, the uh, the use case as a digital gold store of value so congratulations motherfuckers you guys did a good job okay and I hope that you guys made some good money off of it okay because we are okay uh, 
So, so here's the thing, right? So let's look at the Taifu Bitcoin uh, 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 certainty principle, okay? The certainty principle revolves around this, guys. If you put a gun to my head and you ask me which coin is certain to give me a 10x, out of the 7,000, 8,000, I don't know how many coins there are in the market now. Last time I checked, it was over 7,000, right? Out of all the 7,000 plus coins on the market, you know, if you put a gun to my head and you say, hey, Ty, which one of these coins can I put my money on that's going to be certain I'm going to get a 10x? And if I don't get a 10x, you know, I'm going to put a bullet in your head, okay? It's undisputed that I'm going to choose Bitcoin Core. If you put the same thing, if you put... Uh, 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 my business partner Leon Fu, right, the legendary grandmaster, the great oracle of crypto. If you put a gun to his head and ask him, which one of these coins can I put my money on that is certain to give me a 10x, right? He's gonna say Bitcoin Core too, and we would have said that even when we were holding Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV. So don't 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 be surprised by that, okay? Now, if you ask me when when will I get the 10x, then the answer is I don't know. I don't know. I believe, and LeonFu.com believe, that in this coming bull market, right, we're just, our nose is just right above the water. Our nose is just right above the water. And we believe that, we, 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 we believe that there's a strong use case, you know, for the, the store of value. So we believe that Bitcoin Core, even though it's around 15, 16,000 right now, we believe that it can go 10x from here. Which would put it above 150, uh, 100,000, between 100 to 200,000, okay? Easily, easily. Like these guys that throw out these numbers to, you know, get clickbait on, uh, on the internet that say Bitcoin's going to a million dollars and stuff like that. Uh, we're not gonna go out there and do all that clickbaity bullshit, you know? We make more money from trading uh, uh, and investing in crypto. We don't make it from, you know, ads on our channel. So the, 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 that clickbaity shit, you know, we don't, need to, we don't need to stoop that low or do none of that dumb shit in order to make money, okay? So I'm just telling you guys like it is that we are certain that Bitcoin will do a 10x from here. However, we are not certain when. We are certain how much. Remember those two questions, guys, how much and when. If anyone can answer those two questions, it's not going to be a very good uh, uh, investment. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna be a high, uh, 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 profit uh, or life-changing profitable investment if you know those two questions so we can answer one of them with certainty that Bitcoin core because it has won the use case as a digital gold store of value okay congratulations to all you uh, uh, Bitcoin core maximalists out there congratulations okay all right all right so here's the thing guys out of the 7,000 uh, something coins out there, if we put our money on Bitcoin Core, we are certain to get a 10x, uh, a 10x, okay? Now, here's the thing. Let's just say I have $100,000 and I put all $100,000 into Bitcoin Core. I'm certain it will get a 10x. I just don't know when. I believe that it's in this coming bull market, but it could be you know, it gets to 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars in this bull market and then go up to 100, 200 thousand in the next bull market. We don't know. Nobody knows that. OK, because why, why do we feel that it's certain that it will get uh, there? OK, the reason why is because this whole time we were hoping that Bitcoin Core would win the use case as a electronic peer to peer electronic cash. But, you know, the 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 the, uh, the overwhelming consensus uh, by now by now if it wasn't last year in 2019 or 18 or 2017 by 20 the end of 2020 here it's it's pretty much uh, uh, the market I'm just gonna say the market is showing uh, is signaling to us that Bitcoin has won the uh, uh, the, the the use case as a digital gold uh, store of value okay congratulations all you Bitcoin core maximalists congratulations okay. So, just so you guys know, I'm just uh, being a smart ass there, okay? So, uh, anyways, so when we look at that, and it's a, 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 a uh, uh, as, as a, as a uh, store of value, right? And we look at it now for as an individual, 
one of the mistakes that I made, and it's not even really a mistake, right? But one of the things that, that is a mistake is that as an individual, I don't see the use case as a store of value for Bitcoin. I honestly don't. Maybe I'll change in the future, but at this moment, I don't, okay? The reason, and, and I haven't since I got into Bitcoin, because if I want to store value, I'll, do the, I'll put my money into land, into gold, into stocks, into bonds, into lots of things. I'll, I'll buy, you know, lead, you know, bullets, guns, things like that, or cars, or just material things before I, I put my money into Bitcoin as a store of value. I just, it just doesn't uh, appeal to me, okay? Maybe it appeals to the uh, the Bitcoin core maximalist, but to me, it doesn't appeal to me at all because uh, me or my friends and the people around me, I don't see anybody, you know, looking to store their wealth in Bitcoin. They, they look to store it in real estate, you know, in houses, in homes, in cars, in uh, uh, machinery, in factories, in businesses. I, I don't see people storing it in Bitcoin. However, however, let's look at who does need to store their value and their, their wealth in, in, in Bitcoin. If you guys heard in recently, uh, Michael Saylor, the guy, the CEO and the founder of a company in America called MicroStrategy, right? They had about, I think, I could be wrong on the numbers guys, so don't jump on my ass about it, but they had about 500 million in cash reserves. Now, in case you don't know what cash reserves are or a treasury, a company's treasury is, what that means is that's the money that if they know, let's just say, for example, they know that, oh, we need $100 million a year to pay employee salaries and pay for electricity, pay for the water, pay for the land, pay for the taxes, pay for the building rental and all that, you know, and all that uh, employees, you know, basically they're the expenses of the company to keep it running. If they need $100 million a year to keep the company running, you know, a smart company or a well-run company will want to save up some money in case of hard times. For example, right, if, if like, for example, in our company, we know that we need X amount of dollars. Uh, uh, for example, let's just say we need $100,000 to run our website, you know, cryptocurrency.market and to run our coaching program and to, you know, run our courses and everything for the, uh, the you know, provide the service to our students in the cryptocurrency investing blueprint, then what we do is we want to keep several years of runway or in savings. So if it, take, if it costs us $100,000 a year to operate all that, then we want to keep, you know, three, four, five years of operating expenses. And we put that in our company treasury, in our company bank account, okay? So that's what Michael Saylor is doing for MicroStrategy. And so he had $500 million just laying around um, to pay for the expenses for his company. And he said, you know what? He did some math and he said, you know what? If I lose 3% a year, 3% on 100 million is 3 million, and times 500 million, that's $15 million, okay? That I'm losing every year just holding this money in the bank due to inflation. And if we go with the, uh, the, the, the CPI index, the consumer uh, price index, inflation rate, it's about two, 3%. But there are e economists out there that say that it's really eight, nine, or 10%, okay? Um, so I'm not sure, you know, I'm not an economist, uh, so I, I don't know how to tell you which one, who's right, who's wrong, but everyone agrees that the three or four uh, percent CPI index rate is the legit one. And then if we, if, if we just meet halfway and go with the eight or nine or ten percent, the real inflation rate, okay, then if we go halfway, it's around seven or eight percent. So if, if you put five hundred million dollars into a bank account and hold it there to pay for your company expenses each year, you're losing. Uh, seven million times five, that's $35 million. You just lost in five years just holding that money in the bank account, okay, in value. And then, you know, if you, um, uh, if your company, I think MicroStrategy made like 60 or $70 million in profit in like three years. So just think about that. You're making 60, $70 million in profit, but if you hold that cash in the bank account, you're gonna lose 35 million in five years or if you measured apples to apples in three years, you lose 21 million, you make 60 something million in profit, but you lose 21 million in value in your money. Now, a lot of us don't think about these things because you know we're out here, we're buying a cup of coffee, we're buying a burrito or a taco or a jackfruit or something like that. So we, we, we don't pay attention to this, how much money that we're losing, okay? But when you are a big company and you have a big portfolio and you're, you're looking at large numbers, the, those small percentages really add up really quick. So you got guys like the, the, the CEO of 
of micro strategy saying, hey man, screw that. I'm not gonna keep losing, let inflation eat away at my money and cause me to lose value in the money that I worked hard for. I'm gonna go put it into Bitcoin and let it hedge against the inflation. Hedging means that I'm gonna protect my money against inflation eating away its value by putting it into Bitcoin. And he put like 425 million into a Bitcoin, bought it at like $11,000 average price. And now it's up to like 16,000. So you guys do the math how much he's made. He's made more in the last six months with his company uh, uh, putting their, their extra cash reserves into Bitcoin than the profits that the company's actually making from its businesses and from its products and services. So now I'm not saying that companies should go do that to make money because then that you, you become like a hedge fund then, a crypto hedge fund then if you do that, right? But what I, I, I do see and what Leon sees businesses is starting to do is they're gonna start moving their money and move their cash reserves. Let's just say if every company, like in the top Fortune 500 companies, uh, the, the top 500 biggest companies in America or, and in the world, they start moving 1% or 2% or 3% of their cash reserves for their company into Bitcoin. That is a massive amount of money that's gonna come into Bitcoin, right? And remember this guys, uh, with gold, okay, you can always dig up more gold. Don't let, don't let the, the idiots, the, the gold bugs and the silver bugs fool you, okay? If gold reaches a certain price where it's profitable to mine it, you will have more people running out there with tractors and bulldozers to start mining it. Don't, don't ever let these idiots fool you and say, oh, you know, it's a scarce resource. No, it's not. The earth is massively big. We are nothing but pebbles of sand, right? If you go to the beach, right, and, and imagine that you are a pebble of sand on that beach, okay? Well, all the human beings will probably make up like a handful of that sand and look at the rest of the beach, how big it is. Well, that's how big the earth is, okay? You know, we're, we're tiny little, we're not even fire ants on this earth, man. We are so tiny on this earth, you know? There's a massive load of iron, aluminum, silver, gold, all that in, uh, in the earth, man. There, there, there's plenty of it. Uh, they're not gonna run out of that anytime soon, okay? They're not gonna run out of it anytime soon, guys. So don't worry about that, all right? So if you, you can always mine more gold, you can always mine more uh, silver, but there's, you, there's only gonna be 21 million Bitcoins that you're ever gonna mine, right? And you're not gonna even hit that number in my lifetime or your lifetime uh, if you're watching this video right now in 2020, right? So my point is this, right? If these companies, if these big companies, guys, think about it, if they put one or two or 3% of their cash, their company cash, into Bitcoins just to, to, to hedge against inflation eating away at the rest of their money, right? How much is that worth? How much is that worth? Like if you and I get into Bitcoins, you guys might get into Bitcoins with $100, you know, buy $100 worth of Bitcoins. You might buy, you know, $1,000, $10,000. Some of you big ballers, you know, out there, you know, might buy like, you know, uh, $100,000, $200,000 worth of Bitcoins. Some of the whales, you know, some of you whales out there watching us, you know, uh, and, and even us, right? We might get into a million dollars worth of Bitcoins, but we ain't buying no $10 million worth of Bitcoins or $100 million worth of Bitcoins at a time, okay? That's gonna be institutional level stuff. That's like big companies doing that. And when they do that, guys, imagine how much the price of Bitcoin is gonna skyrocket when that happens, okay? If you look at it, right, why, why is it that even, even when we, our goal is to get Bitcoin to be an electronic peer-to-peer -peer cash system even then we would believe that that bitcoin core would go up but we didn't have the faith and the confidence that it will go up 10x okay the reason is because the electronic peer-to-peer -peer cash even if bitcoin core wins that use case it's not it's not going to warrant a certainty a 10x certainty like we do with the digital gold store of values. Congratulations to all you Bitcoin core maximalists. You guys won. You won, <laughs> okay? So let's make a lot of money from it. I hope you guys make a lot of money from it. I, I, you know what, I would feel really bad if, if these Bitcoin core maximalists that's been preaching about Bitcoin being a store of value and now they won, they undisputedly won that use case and they turn out they don't make any money from it. That'd be a damn shame, okay? Because we are, we're gonna make a shitload from it, all right? Anyways, so that's the Taifu Bitcoin certainty principle. I would say 10x certainty principle, 
right? But I, I'm just gonna say certainty principle. I'm not gonna include the 10X in there. But just so you guys know, we believe it's certain out of all the 7,000 coins out there to, that can do a 10X, it's, it's going to be Bitcoin Core. Because the, the use case for the store of value is massive, guys. That's a huge market. That's a, that's a massive, massive, giant market. These companies start, you got MicroStrategy already buying 425 million, and then you got uh, Square, which is owned by Twitter. Uh, it's a payment uh, 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 processing, it's a payment app, and they already put 50 million in. There's another UK company, I forgot the name of it. They put in some more money. So if each of these companies, guys, you guys gotta realize something. All these CEOs of these billion dollar companies, they all hang out together. They all talk to each other, right? So if one guy says, hey man, I heard you uh, put 400 and something million dollars uh, of your cash reserves into Bitcoin. What's that all about? Oh yeah, man, you know, I'm doing this so that it hedges against, you know, it's like the new digital gold and shit, you know? If you and I tell them, they ain't gonna believe that shit. But if it's another one of their buddies that owns a billion dollar company that just put $425 million into it and tells them, guess what? Guess what they're gonna do, guys? Check this out. Their ears are gonna do this right there. Their ears are gonna start moving. They're gonna do this, whoop, right? And you know what that means? In English, we call it, their ears are gonna perk up. Perking up means that their ears are gonna wake up and go, what, what the hell did you just say? You just bought $425 million worth of Bitcoins? For what? To hedge? You think it's a good idea? Oh, okay. So I got like 10 billion over here in cash reserve. What do you think? You think I should drop a billion in there? You think that's too much? Well, didn't you say you just made, you know, you bought in 11,000 and it went up to, to, to uh, 16,000? And you think it's gonna go over 100,000? And the guys over there, Taifu and them, they got the Bitcoin certainty principle. They think it's gonna go up 10X too? Shit, I got 10 billion in cash reserves. I'm gonna go ahead and put a billion in. I'm gonna go ahead and put a billion in. Okay. So what's gonna happen is this, guys. They're gonna end up, right? If these companies, just one or two more companies, that's all we need, guys. One or two more companies start putting more money into Bitcoin as a cash reserve, the floodgates are gonna come open, guys. The floodgates, okay? In a separate video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between the retail investors and the institutional investors and, and how I believe that the institutional investors are the ones that's going to uh, uh, push the market up and, and the reasons why and where's the evidence for it. So I'll make that in a separate video, okay? But hopefully in this uh, video, you guys understand uh, the, 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 the Taifu Bitcoin certainty principle that I just shared with you. And um, if you guys know of a app that can, a social media recording app that can record like WhatsApp video calls or WhatsApp calls or Facebook calls, you know, let me know. And that way I can record the conversations between me and Leon and I can share it with you. The reason why you guys don't see us do a lot of uh, uh, videos anymore together is because of time constraints and scheduling, you know. And the easiest way for me and him to communicate with each other is through WhatsApp, you know, on a phone call. And if you guys want to listen in, it, I would appreciate it if you guys can help me find one because I tested about 20 different Android apps already uh, on my Samsung phone and none of them work. They all say it works. They all say that they got a million downloads, five million downloads, but none of them work, okay? Uh, uh, they all claim it works, I don't know why, but so if you guys know one that actually works on a WhatsApp call that can record WhatsApp calls and videos, uh, send it over to me and I'll test it out. And if it works, then I'll record some, some of the conversations that me and Leon have for you guys, okay? So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you guys wanna learn more about how our team you know, looks at the market, how we invest and trade a seven, eight, nine figure portfolio, right? And you wanna do it right and you don't wanna screw up and miss this big opportunity in the markets, I highly recommend that you guys go to www.cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and get you a copy of our cryptocurrency investing blueprint. And uh, that way you can learn everything that we have known and everything we have done we don't hold nothing back. We don't keep no secrets. We share everything that we have learned in there with you on how to grow and manage a seven, eight, nine figure portfolio. So thanks for watching this video guys. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys in a future video. Thank you.